at the capability of creating different moods. How would we do that? You can create different moods via the smartphone app. We could also fit what we call a mood controller, which gives you the selected mood at the touch of a button. Installing and setting up the mood controller is very, very simple. Because it's wireless, it can be situated anywhere in the house using sticky pads. The mood controller has an LED indicator at the top. Below this are two large buttons and four smaller buttons along the bottom. The top left larger button is the off button. The top right larger button is the on button. If you hold them down, they will change the light levels through connected dimmable devices. The first of the smaller buttons along the bottom on the left is an all off button to switch off all linked receiving devices at the same time. The remaining three smaller buttons are for setting and recalling three different preset lighting moods. On the rear of the device, there is a battery compartment. If you need to replace the battery, insert a small flathead screwdriver and gently remove the cover. It's best to set up and link this device before mounting it to the wall, as to do so correctly, we have to use the slider on the rear. Put the products you want to be controlled by the mood controller into linking mode. Please refer to the instruction manual for that product for how to do this. When the product is in linking mode, press the top right button. Repeat this process for all the products you want to be linked. The slider on the rear has two positions. When set to 01, the main on and off buttons will turn all devices with which they are paired on or off or dim them. When set to M, the main on and off buttons activate two main user-defined moods called entry and exit moods. These are designed to act as the favorite settings for linked devices when the room is entered or vacated. Set the desired status of each linked receiver you want in your mood. For example, in the case of sockets, on or off, or in the case of ceiling lights, at any dimmed level. Select which mood button, 1, 2 or 3, is to be used to save and recall the new mood. Hold down the desired mood button until the LED starts to flash. The LEDs on various link devices included in the new mood will flash to indicate they are now recognized as a part of that mood. To recall a mood, just press the desired mood button, one, two, or three. The mood controller can be fixed to a back box or to any suitable flat surface using the adhesive strips provided. To mount it onto a back box, separate the front surround from the unit by inserting a flathead screwdriver into the slots of the surround and tilting it up. You can then remove the centre of the unit. That will leave a plastic spacer which can be screwed onto a standard box. If using the adhesive strips, once they are attached to the surround, simply attach the mood controller to the wall. Press the ON button once to switch linked devices on, and then press and hold it down to raise light levels via the linked dimmer. Press the OFF button once to switch linked devices off, or press and hold this button to lower light levels. The ALL OFF button will switch off all linked devices at the same time. Pressing any of the three mood buttons will recall that particular stored mood. The mood controller allows rooms to be used for different occasions, recalling a mood at the touch of a button. So which moods would you like to set up? I would like a brightly lit mood with all the lights on for say when the kids are doing their homework, a moderately lit mood for when I'm relaxing and reading a book, and finally a dim light movie mood for watching a film. 
Remember, you can also store moves using the smartphone app or using the handheld Move controller.